Easter is this Sunday, and a lot of families are getting ready for Easter brunch. And here with some secrets, and I love this kind of cooking where you don't have to do too much work. Uh, Stacy Boone Kenny, she's the owner of the Trails Eatery, with some really good uh, brunch hacks. I I'm loving this. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, brunch hacks. So you don't have to go crazy in order to entertain. There are really easier ways to do it. And you can put an entire brunch for eight together in an hour at your house. And we're going to do it in four minutes. So <laughs> well, then in that case, show yeah. us how to do it. How, okay. do you, how do you do this? I think the most important thing is to start with the thing that's going to take you the most time and then find some cheats in there. Okay. So what we've done is we're going to make this casserole. Ooh. I've got, yeah, girl, casseroles are always good, right? It's that Midwestern delicious thing that happens there. So there's just some frozen frozen shredded hash browns. Okay. And then to that we're going to take eight eggs. We're going to mix those eggs up. Shelly, if you want to do this, she's an expert in the kitchen. She okay. doesn't need me. And then this is... Actually, I do need you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cheese mix that has hatch chili and cheddar cheese. It's at that big box store called Costco right now. It's fantastic. Tons of flavor. It's got all the salt, all the things Stop you need. Stop it. it. Hatch yes. green chili cheddar dip is at Costco right now. I'm going today. Dump the whole thing. Dump the whole thing in there. It just makes a really rich, delicious casserole. All the seasonings you need are inside of that already. No need to do anything extra. You're just going to mix that in this there. has changed my world. So I like how this hack off. Have you been in Cracker Barrel? Uh, yes. Okay, that cheesy potatoes. Yeah. I make it for my family here in the morning, Aww. right? Right? And they love it. They're spoiled. But uh, <laughs> it, it involves a lot more work than this. No, yeah. So this is like, <laughs> this is it. You're just going to mix that together. You're going to put half of that on top of the potatoes. Okay. And then, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a mix. Okay. So half on top of the potatoes, and then we'll put the other half of the potatoes on there, and then finish that off. That goes in the oven. Okay. For 40 minutes at 375. While that's baking, we're going to make cinnamon rolls. Now, some okay. Meals are usually like a two-day process in my house. Yes. I'm over that. Okay. So what we're going to do instead is I've got some puff pastry. Now here's the gig, y'all. If you ever cook with puff pastry, you know that this time of year it can be kind of hard to get. Anytime there's any kind of a holiday, yes. puff pastry is tough to find. If you can't find puff pastry, don't stress. Okay. There's always an alternative. So for uh, instead of puff pastry, you can use that croissant in a can. You know the kind of yes. can that pop. The pop. You can okay. get that, and it works out just the same. So you're going to just take you know some butter I like salted butter okay and you're gonna mix that or you're gonna melt it put it on there and then this is cinnamon and brown sugar so it's a half a cup of brown sugar oh, that smells two finely delicious of okay right. that is the good part we're gonna roll it on the long end okay just roll it up that's it have you made cinnamon rolls no, from scratch? No, honey. I make the, I buy the one and that goes <laughs> pop. <laughs> That's it. So this works just as well. Okay. So you're going to cut this into about 8 to 12 pieces. Okay. Real simple. You're going to want to make sure you put it in a non-stick tin because if you don't, you're going to have a problem later. Okay. All right. So now that can join the casserole in the oven. That's only going to be in for about 12 minutes. Look, we're, we're almost done with our brunch, friends. Right? So we've got a savory, we've got a sweet, and we're going to finish brunch up with a salad. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. What? I have to tell you about this. What? So spend your time um, and your energy on the things that are going to make things pop. So we're going to make this quick um, icing from scratch. It is half of an orange squeezed with the orange rind, a little bit of butter, okay. and a cup of powdered sugar. That is going to go on those when it comes out of the oven hot, and you're going to have this delicious That's it? That's flavor. the icing? That's it. It's so simple. But you're going to get more bang for your buck. Your energy is going to go in the right place. Right. You're not like running around trying to make puff pastry from scratch. Nobody needs to do that. Please no. don't ever do that. No, 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 no. Honestly. No, 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 no. Why? Like, why do that? Why? Like, yes, right. It's already made. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, we've got our salad. Um, we're going <laughs> to, how do you, what do you think? Smells delicious. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. Here's a warning though. Don't eat that and then drink coffee. They're never good friends. Oh. I did that this morning. I was really? like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like toothpaste. Toothpaste. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So spinach salad. Um, this is always a winner. Lots and lots of nutrients in this. So we're going to take spinach. We're going to just add some red onions. And here's the other thing is do a little bit ahead of time. Otherwise. Do all of this cutting and dicing the night before. So that way right. this morning you've got it ready to go. Um, you're going to toast some pecans. Pecans okay. go in there. A little bit of feta cheese mm. and then strawberries and not last but not least this is a homemade balsamic how'd dressing. you make that it is a really simple thing it's a ratio you're going to do three parts of oil i like to use a high grade extra virgin olive okay. oil and one part of vinegar balsamic that's it put it that's in a blender it? for just a little bit of time and it emulsifies you can add some things garlic basil okay you know, salt, okay pepper. 
Easy peasy. Okay. And then voila, you have brunch for eight. She just made brunch in less than four minutes, friend, on TV. That's how you do Easter brunch. <laughs> you all stressing about, I can't cook, I can't cook. We just cooked. Stacy, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm so excited. Any other final tips that you want to give anybody or just uh, words of encouragement and advice? Um, if you don't have exactly what's on the recipe, yes. just look through your pantry. Get creative. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just remember that the whole idea of having yes. dinner with people is spending time. That is so, so true. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. We'll Take a bite. Oh, girl, you yeah. have to ask me twice. I have an eye <laughs> I'm waiting for her to tell me because this cheesy potatoes, they may just change my life right now. Are you ready? Who am I sending it back to? Raul, by the way, if you want to get the recipe, foxysandiego.com, click the seat on tab, it'll get you hooked on the Trails Eatery. Here we go. Let's see if this compares to my cheesy potatoes. You know, I'm never making those for you again, ever. <laughs> I'm going to do this. 